Hello, welcome back to Occupy Veterans, Veterans San, Francisco San Francisco on Veterans Occupy Bernice. SFTV, Independent Citizen Media, and uh, we're here in Slowtown, San Luis Obispo, with, of course, my comrade Pirate Mike, and we have uh, attained a flag to go along with our Veterans for Peace flag. And, That's uh, a nation in distress. Today, uh, we're going to be uh, talking about some topics of things that we've covered through our journey since we left San Francisco, Santa Cruz, on the way down uh, to here in San Luis Obispo. Don't forget to check out our website, uh, both of our websites. Mine, like I said, is independentcitizenmedia.weebly.com. And Pirate Mike's? Occupy Veteran San Francisco .weebly.com. And if you'd like to make a donation, help us along our way and promote peace you can do that on either one of our websites through paypal which directs you to mike's paypal site and we will use those funds to help veterans uh feed ourselves we will also use it for uh necessary things like uh camera equipment or whatever else we're running on a limited budget so any donations anything is helpful uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and start today's show off with um, your primary topic for today. Uh, primary topic today is the apathy that we encounter in cities that have a higher economic base than other towns. Such as this one. Okay, so San Luis Obispo, home to Cal Poly home to the California Men's Correctional Facility where they held Timothy Leary prisoner during the 60s uh, prior to his escape to South America. Um, my main impression of Slowtown is that it is filled with privileged young white yuppie scum and their parents who are part of the tech industry. Lots of BMWs, who are Mercedes. Mercedes, Jaguar, BMW. Uh, all that. The, the main High thing end. is that all these people on the backs of their $50,000 petroleum beasts are rocking American flags and Obama stickers, yet they look down their nose at anybody with a backpack. And it would appear that since there was such a low military presence in San Luis Obispo, the veterans are completely off the radar. Now, our attempts to raise awareness to the problems that homeless veterans are facing in America today is met with a cold shoulder. Not Absolutely. only that, but these are almost freezing temperatures here. Let me interject for a second. For four days we've been here. Is it four, four days. Four days. I've been flying this Veterans for Peace sign and a sign that says Veteran in Distress. I have had people not only flip me off for no reason as I'm flying a peace symbol along with this mm -hmm. sign mm -hmm. and my Veteran in Distress sign. Um, a lot of them would look, their down, look down their nose at me. Uh, they would look away. Um, completely ignoring me. Um, you can almost feel the shame of the American public and the thing is is that they're so afraid to acknowledge the veteran that I think they feel guilty about it and they would rather give they their should. they should and they they would rather give their money to the Salvation Army which gives 10 cents for Not every dollar 10 cents on the dollar to the homeless. We are homeless veterans and we are spending our EBT benefits. It's not a benefit. It's, it's, it's been cut by $11. It's been anyway, cut by $11. But the fact remains that the poor people out here are supporting the poor people out here. Absolutely. And the rich people out here are completely ignoring the problem. Absolutely. So James and I have had a camp down by the river. Down by the a river. A <laughs> Chris Farley. And we have felt more solidarity, more 
family presence. Yep. And for me, this boils down to class solidarity because class solidarity is the mechanism by which the elite oppress the rest of us because the one percent are tight they're very tight and they are exclusively focused on keeping the rest of us divided through class gender race political ideology what have you and we need to get the fuck out of here james i'd like to get out of here i, mean, I cannot stand our, this snobbery the snobbery is killing me and what we have here is we have Cal Poly which is a military defense industry dominated college all right Cal Poly is developing tech to surveil our domestic population to build drones and we need to get to Santa Maria where there is a little bit more of a liberal base but you know what James I'm feeling that the liberals of this country have failed in supporting the democratic principles that well, they so called claim to have won during the 60s you know, and the civil liberties rights movements and the movement hold, hold, hold for women and stuff like that from, from what I've seen Hi, Jordan. I'm glad you're watching, baby <laughs> Every, girl. Everybody that is not active in participating in protests around their area or around the country have failed. They are failing their fellow human. They are failing their veterans. They are failing the people that actually stand up to fight for their rights to be able to ignore us. Mm -hmm. um, their right to ignore us. Well... My right to get in your face ends with your right to ignore me because he and I signed on the dotted line when we were teenagers. We were teenagers and we thought we were doing the right thing for ourselves and for the country. And what we found was that our country subverted my normal teenage well, yeah, I, I mean, it was most, like most kids, at least in this kind of uh, atmosphere, are growing these up. These kids where, are privileged, please, yuppie stop. scum. Hold on, please stop. Mellow, mellow. Okay, now it's like this: if you have money, you can do whatever you want. You can ignore people. You can pay people off. Um, you know, when you can I buy these, elections. When I see these kids around here driving around in a BMW brand new or a really nice Porsche. Believe it or not, these are like 18, 22 year old kids yeah. driving around in it's pretty primo ridiculous. cars. Yeah. And you know what they do when they they look at us and they go, they look away. Yeah. Um, and now, to me, or that, that get a just job. Goes to get show, a job. Get that a just job. Goes to show get a job. The way that uh, the privileged or elite, whatever. These are one percent or wannabes. These are the kind of people that I do not want to associate with because they are not what I would call human. They are inhumane. Um, it has been very cold the last few nights. We have suffered grievously uh. down by the river. Uh, I froze my ass off last night. I got zero, zero sleep. Uh. And uh, I woke up in a completely foul mood. James and, had a hard time today, you and, guys. And believe it or not, for the first, what, two hours this morning, I was in tears. He was fucking believe it or not. pissed. Um, I was flipping people off because I was so angry that we've been here for four days. And in four days' time, guess how much money we've been <laughs> able to raise from the locals? What do you think? Six to Twenty ten. bucks. Twenty Total bucks. Twenty dollars. Now, I went through, what? We went, we went through several towns prior to here. There was one man by himself that donated $100 to keep us going on our journey. And, and we weren't even awesome. flying these flags Matt, at the same time. thanks to John, the anonymous so, throw donor. Out the props. Throw out the props real quick. John, uh, the anonymous props. Those who are supporting us through PayPal on yes. the subscription. Thank you very much on the subscription function Absolutely. which allows you to donate to us a certain amount of money each Monthly. month 
automatically. Uh, I like this. Problem I had today, though, James, was when we were at the Veterans Service Organization. Right. And, and another topic. I needed to have a photo, photo ID, ID in order to get a photo, a photo ID. ID. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. When I was in San Francisco and they pulled me out of the tree for trying to defend the land, uh, they confiscated my identification. So it's very difficult. Uh, the veteran constantly finds himself in a catch-22 situation. I'm just okay. checking the chat real quick. Sorry. What are you doing in the army? Well, you know, I'm I'm kicking in people's doors and putting my rifle in your face. This doesn't exactly translate to a civilian skill set. No. Not so really. uh, unless you're a police officer. Unless you want to become a pig, a security officer, which right now in the military, private corporations are headhunting young soldiers to become security officers part of the establishment and most once you're in there they want to keep you in there if you dissent or if you disagree with the patriotic mindset of the american police state you're out you're out and what you have to deal with is people like james uh you got to have people to deal with people like me. People getting flipped off. Uh, fuck you. You're not a real vet. Blah, blah, blah. I got my DD-214s, so, and as a matter of fact... We both of us... James, you should show it off. Cause, yeah, I will show cause it off. Because Slowtown was kind of cool today. The only yeah, benefit very, that I can find that I got out of this town was this. I have... Yeah. The military ID. All right, but they won't Veterans give it. ID. They won't give it to me because my ID got confiscated by the SFPD. And he doesn't have a picture. At the Gezi raids. So. At the Gezi raids. I gotta warn you, we're coming up on two minutes before we need to start doing closing comments. But we will be coming back with a second broadcast to finish up the dialogue for our half and hour. And we want to welcome Carol Harvey to the Independent Citizen yes. Media website and our entire program is based on solidarity with the people the people that support us the people who are watching us right now thanks for watching are so important to us you guys keep us going we are ninety seven dollars away from our goal of four hundred dollars now this to is to get our bikes he thinks we can get two bikes for 400 bucks. We I can. assure you, we need more than just 400 bucks. We need bucks. more than so, that. But you know, I'm telling you, James, we got to go to Craigslist, and well, that'll be fine. You know, you, you've got contacts and stuff, but, you know, moving along, we're, we're coming up on our last 30 seconds before we do uh, end promotions. And uh, I'd just like to say that... Uh, it's a beautiful city here in Slowtown. It is it's a gorgeous city, but too the bad. people suck. Yeah, it's just too bad there's so much snobbery and elitism here. The the river people are great. Yes. There is solidarity amongst the homeless, and we want to promote unity between the homeless people and the homeless vets need to band together to put an end to all of this bullshit that all of us are experiencing everywhere. All right, so we're at 14 minutes for our first broadcast. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take a smoke break. One one last uh, quick shout out to uh, all of our homies in San Francisco. Carol and Harvey, Zagum. At, at Occupy Mike Wall Zin. Street. Dude, stop talking over me. Let me finish. All right, so we've got <laughs> two websites, Occupy Veterans San Francisco, which is... Dot Weebly.com. Dot Weebly.com. And then, of course, there's mine, Independent Citizen Media, dot Weebly.com. And both websites have the same uh, donation. donation link. So if you feel like you'd like to support us, we'd appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on our next broadcast. And my arm is awesome.